Dragonsteel really upped their game when it comes to shipping in the later half of the year here. With all of the delays that happened with Tressa the Emerald Sea, the fact that we're getting Yumi and the Nightmare Painter, like, immediately is so awesome. Let's unbox it. Oh, I need a stabby. They're mowing the lawn, like, right outside my window. I've already read the book. I already know the art is incredible, but oh man, I'm so excited to see this in person. Granted, I've already actually secretly seen it in person, but I'm excited to have it for my own darn self. And since I last saw it in person, I know more things about the art and everything. First off, a lovely Cosmere character pin of Shalon. Very nice. A lovely sticker of Yumi and the Nightmare Painter, or of, I mean, at least Yumi, in the high-end lines. That's awesome. The explanatory postcard thing, and a really pretty sparkly bookmark featuring Yumi. And then on the back side, Painter. Nice. Introducing the neon logo of your favorite noodle shop. No <laughs> way! This is the noodle pupil. That's amazing. So this actually would be design. And then the book itself. Oh. oh, it's so pretty. All right, so cool thing about this book. Yumi and the Nightmare Painter was the winner of the Foil and Specialty Effects Association Gold Leaf Awards. This is the 30th annual for excellence in foiling application because that's apparently a thing. Yumi and the Nightmare Painter won the Gold Leaf Award for foil embossing on a hardback book. This is an absolutely beautiful book. But not only that, it's an award-winningly beautiful book. Also, going with the cover art, my friend Peter, who is Cosmere Considered on TikTok, did a breakdown of the art on the cover using the Fibonacci sequence, and everything here, it like spirals into each other and is just really mathematically perfect. It's amazing. That video will be linked below. And the star chart of the Cosmere like matches up in here. It's conspiracy theories. So many. But let's look at all of the art because this book is gorgeous. Spoilers for You Mean the Nightmare Painter. If you haven't read it, we're going to be looking at all of the individual pieces of art in the book. So be aware. We've got bamboo from Painters Painting. And yeah, that's so pretty. The dual color printing of this is just absolutely stunning. With the chapter headings in Tress of the Emerald Sea and in Frugal Wizard's Guide, there was sort of a progression to the chapters as you went through the book. These, rather than having a progression, it just shows basically whose viewpoint chapter it is. With Painter's viewpoints, we've got the blue high end line with the moon and the painted bamboo. With Yumi's, we've got the pink high end line going around the sun, probably, with the stacked rocks. And that is consistent throughout the entire book until the very end where they have one like overlapping chapter. Right there, chapter 40. Again, the art in this is gorgeous. Yumi falling asleep after summoning 30 spirits in the cool spring. I really want to dig into like Fibonacci sequence in here as well. Like I'm sure it it's present. Painter and Yumi practicing bamboo in Painter's apartment. The details of this are so awesome. Like, you get a view into Painter's world that you don't normally get with just a written text. You have to fill in details with this art. So we've got like, oh, that's what the high-end viewer looks like. The lights, the, the furniture, really just awesome. The bookmark image and the image that was released during Dragonsteel Con last year of Yumi and Painter in the tree. So cool. Yumi finding Painter's portfolio. Just awesome perspective peeking in the window. Like that's fantastic. Oh right. Other smaller arts are not on the fancy paper. Ah, it's so good. So there's sort of the two types of art. You've got the fancy glossy inserts but there's also just the more watercolor looking ones. This of Hoyd as a coat rack. It's so great. And there's Masaka, our other sleepless friend. The stare off. Painter being confused about what the sun is. Don't worry about the sun. It's meant to be there. I have nothing to say about the sun. Design and painter. Oh, this, I love this. The first nightmare we see painter actually go up against. Where he paints it and you see the form of the nightmare still, but it's very clearly getting trapped in bamboo, running from the nightmare. Spooky spooky. Seeing the other Yokihijo in the shroud. 
this wasn't really explained. Like, was there actually... What, did a Yokihijo just get formed in there? Was there one of the other Yokihijos who was traveling through the Shroud? Like, what was happening? Or was it just a creation of Yumi? She thought it into existence. Facing off against uh, that the final, like, circle. Yumi just going nuts at the end. Take that, AI. Hoid becoming not a coat rack. <laughs> The kiss. And then my favorite, ugh, Painter's Masterpiece. The beginning end papers are just Painter's bamboo, what he would always paint. But then here, it's what he has always wanted to paint. This book is absolutely gorgeous. Really amazing job, Dragon Steel. I'm, ugh, it's so good. It's so good. All of the other swag items are just great. I can't... This this sticker makes me so unbelievably happy. The actual logo of the Noodle Pupil. It's awesome. <laughs> Love it. Really well done, Dragon Steel. As always, I mean, you, you knew this was well done because you won an award for it. But from me, random person on the internet, really well done. This is a absolutely stunning not just story but like printing of the book and all of the things just so good huge thank you to dragon steel for just the quality of stuff that's being produced but also big thank you to my patrons thank you to doug thank you to matt thank you to steve and thank you to data gremlin so great to have the support of so many people in this community i really appreciate all of yeah appreciate it my patrons get early access to all of my videos. You can also get access to my previous scripts and research notes, and even get a peek at what I'm working on in the future. I've also been working on merchandise in preparation for Dragonsteel Convention, which I will be exhibiting at. And as soon as that merchandise is created, I will be sending things out to my patrons. So if you would like early merchandise for Read and Find Out and at the Cosmere Knot, support me on Patreon and you will get some. This is sort of a midweek random video because it was an unboxing. So this Friday, we will be talking about the Lord of the Rings set with Magic the Gathering. Next week, we're going to be digging into what the Cosmere actually is because next month, Month is the Cosmere swag box. I can't wait to see what's in it. I'm real excited. Anyway, I have a lot of things that I'm still working on in preparation for Dragonsteel Convention. So I need to go work and find out, figure stuff. I got stuff I got to do. I'll be right back. Ow! Oh, goodness. Inquisitor just chopped my toes off. Uh, don't put those bookends on the floor. That's dangerous.